I would love to hear a believer explain how their faith in the claims of their religion and holy books differ from what we would all agree is a delusion. An obvious delusion would be the type of hallucinations experienced by John Nash as portrayed in the film A Beautiful Mind. He experienced very lifelike imaginary friends whom he gradually realized were not real. Looking at religious faith as an outsider, it seems impossible to have faith without making the assumption that God and the contents of the holy books are the real deal. If, like me, a person doesn't make that assumption, then it appears as if people who have faith in their religion are deluded. To us it seems as if the holy books were not divinely inspired, but were written by men, perhaps in an attempt to control the behaviour of the congregation, or maybe to give them comfort in times of trouble. Maybe both. The other possibility is that God really is real. But if that is the case, then I wonder why he has kept himself so well hidden for so long. I mean, if the Old Testament is to be believed, he spoke and interacted with Moses, Abraham and Noah, and they were humans, even if they did have unusually long lifespans. Why did he stop intervening? Another odd thing about faith, which doesn't help an outsider like me to accept it, is the fact that there are so many different and contradictory faiths. Muslims have told me that Allah is the one true God, and that all Christians followed a false prophet, and Christians have told me that Muhammad's message did not supersede the words of Jesus. And within Christianity there are thousands of different interpretations of the Gospels and how literally they should be taken. I've said it before, but I really do think that non-belief is the default position. If a child were raised in an isolated community and didn't hear any mention of any religion, I cannot imagine that they would grow up having faith in anything other than the people they knew. My point is that religious faith is something imposed upon people, usually from an early age, and not something they naturally have. There are many of my non-believing YouTube friends, plus a few outside of this website, who used to be strongly religious, but left their faith behind as they learned more about the history of religion and the physical universe. There are some Christians here who say they used to be atheist, but they invariably demonstrate a poor understanding of the physical world they live in, which doesn't make their arguments at all convincing to those with more scientific literacy. Of course, I'm picking on the more fundamental believers and the young earth creationists, but what about people like Dinesh D'Souza, Alistair McGrath and All Saints Monastery? These guys do have a reasonably good understanding of the physical world, but are still religious. I have a hard time trying to understand what it is which makes them have the faith. I would say that these guys are more intelligent than me, so what do they know that I don't? I've listened to them, but can't figure it out. Their arguments for believing leave me unconvinced. I'd be interested to hear your views on whether there is a difference between faith and delusion, and if so, what it is. From where I'm sitting, it seems that those with religious faith are indeed deluded. I won't censor any comments or video responses, even if you manage to shoot my ideas down in flames. So any theists who wish to make their argument here, please do so. Thanks for watching.